<laughs> Howdy, and welcome back to Vapor Fools. I'm Travis. And I'm Sean. And when we left off, we had finished up our introductions with everyone. Now tell me, who's your favorite? Um, well... Uh, it's hard. I like his cussing. You know, he's fucking fuck you. Why do you like this guy? He's cussing. He's cussing. Um, I want to know more about Kyoko. I like her freckles. And the big ass smile she gets. So you... It's a little bit of everyone, almost. Except him. Yeah, but if you had to hang out with one person. Out of everyone you've seen. Out of everyone? Yeah. Um... <gasps> oh, Maya, no burkies. If I had to hang out with one, maybe Mystery Girl. Mystery Girl? Mystery Girl. Okay. But I believe you need to head to the gym. Yeah, well, what I need to do is explore. Oh, yeah, you can. I did tell you to click on everything. The mailbox. There's something inside. By the way, you see those big things? They're huge. Machine guns. It's like, whoa, what do those do? Suspicion detected. <laughs> Surveillance camera has what looks like a gun attached to it. Really? But there's no way that's a real gun. Right? Let me show you. Pop, pop, pop. Oh, same dialogue. Uh, TV! There's a TV. Oh my god, it's the same dialogue as the other room. Even though if you do that, you're gonna. There's gonna be times you're gonna wanna click on everything still to get those tokens. Should I talk to these guys? I believe you already talked to them. This is, this is bad. What was with that announcement? It was like totally creepy. So I'll probably just gonna say the same thing. Dude, shit. shit. Hell, what the hell kind of game are they playing? They're all one winners. <laughs> what the hell? Is this some kind of bad joke? You sound like a cheesy... Leave the area. Leave the area. Okay. So I need to go to the gym. The gym? Hi! Are you saying that sounds like some sort of announcer? Hey, come on! God, I had no idea the whole stupid academy was gonna be a pain in my balls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. A pain in my balls? This place gives me blue balls. <laughs> oh my god. It ain't it, it really that much different from the time I spent Juvie. Oh, this place is even worse. Uh, um... Why isn't there anyone here? Walking through the halls, I didn't see a single person. This is bad. Isn't that, like, seriously not good? Uh, th they're just trying to spook us! Th they'll take those metal plates down later! I'm sure of it! <laughs> All we can do now is hope from the fist and prepare for the worst. Nothing big, nothing big. Just saying, people in martial arts will break bricks. This bitch should be able to those muscles should be able to punch through those plates. Dude, shit. Well, hell, it ain't like I'm scared or nothing. Let's just get this over with. Hey, Don't damn it. it. Hey, where's whoever called us here? Urgh. What are you thinking? My balls! Mondo, stop! No running! Well, then. I do shall go. Yeah! Oh, I wait. Don't leave me here all alone. Whee! Okay. Okay, then. Damn it. Time for some new, more tutorial action. You can press the triangle button to observe the room. Observing will display what people and objects you can interact with. Sorry for the late notice. I want to kill you, Margarita. So. Show you everything you can do. That's messed up. What? 
Just telling you now. Even didn't read it. Damn it. Another surveillance camera? I feel like we're being watched every second. I don't like it. Oh, I can see you in the shower. Please don't. The school has a lot of TVs. They could all just be for that weird school broadcast, but they... This is bad. I'm totally getting a bad vibe right now. Um, um, where are we seeing? Why are we the only ones here? Maybe I'm just imagining that. She turns. He turns around, and she just like. <laughs> <laughs> Display case. There's all kinds of trophies and plaques inside. Of course, all the students who go here are old time, right? So this is probably just a tiny fraction of all the rewards. I ignore the fact that there's some fucking armor and a sword. Duels be a long school. with uneasy dread, I did what the announcement said and went to the gym. I saw what was waiting for us there. Lots of students. Oh, it really does look like an entrance ceremony. Yo! See? I told ya. It's totally normal entrance song ceremony, dude. You know, was right. But in a way, that just emphasized how completely not normal all of us were. Howdy! Hello! Is everyone here? Good! Then let's get things rolling! Uh -huh. Whee! Uh -huh. Huh? A teddy bear? I'm not a teddy bear. I am Monokuma! And I am this school's headmaster! That was the strangest thing I've ever seen. Right before my eyes was... What I was seeing was... It was... Utterly incomprehensible. Nice to meet you all! Such a bright voice and a carefree attitude was completely out of place. All that anxiety I'd been carrying with me suddenly transformed into an outright fear. Say what? What? The teddy bear can talk. I just want to point out that one of his hairs is sticking straight out <laughs> from the side. Calm down. I'm sure there's just a speaker inside it. Hey. I Come oh, on oh, now. I told you already. I'm not a teddy bear. Say what? What? Hey, boom. Dude, shit. Seriously, man, calm down. Probably just a remote control toy or something. How dare you can tell me to a child play bingo? You cut me deep, deeper than the Marion Trench. <laughs> My remote control system is so complex, even the folks at NASA can't recreate it or even comprehend it. Oh, but don't make me say, say something about my destroying NASA's dreams! I just couldn't bear it! Oh. Well... Bad, is that? Really? You are... unfortunate. Hmm... Now's... <laughs> <laughs> Crossing no, the no, French no, Mickey Mouse! Moving on! We really must hurry and get started! Come on... Giving up already? No other stupid bell time? Now then! Quiet down now! Quiet down! Ah, oh, okay, so... Huh. He has abandoned the game. Good morning! Everyone, stand at attention and bow! And good morning! You hear me? Good morning! What's your problem? You don't have to say it now. Now then! Now then! Let us commend you the most noteworthy and memorable entrance ceremony! 
first, let's talk a bit about what your school life here will be like. Now, uh, make no mistake, youth Houston's so full of potential represents the hope of the world. And to protect such splendid hope, you will all live in a communal life together solely within the confines of this school. Everyone will live in harmony together and adhere to the rules and regulations of the school. Regarding the inmates in the communal life, too bad! There isn't one! Oh, uh, well, I'm outie. In other words, you will not be here until the day you die! Such is the school life you think of time! Well, what did you just say? Until the day you die? Yep. Oh, but fear not! We have quite an abundant budget, so you will lack for all of the common conveniences! Hold on a second. That's the least of our worries right now. Hmm. Yeah, what the hell? You're saying I have to, like, live here forever? You're screwing with us, right? It's true! I'm not screwing with you! I am no liar! Of that you, of that you can be 100% sure! Uh-huh. Oh, and just for your information, you're completely cut off from the outside world. So you don't have to worry about that dirty, dirty land beyond these walls ever again! That dirty, dirty land. Cut off? So all those metal plates all over the school? They're keep us trapped in here? Here! That's exactly what they're here for! No matter how much you may yell, scream, or help, 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 help will not come. So with that all in mind, Live out your life here with reckless abandon! Hey, come on! Come on! What the hell is this? I don't care if the school or whoever else is behind it all. This is just really a bad joke. I keep on reading this wrong. Damn you! Yeah, cut this shit out! It isn't funny anymore! Unbelievable! You keep saying that this is a lie? Or a joke? A bunch of skeptics, all of you! What are you gonna do? But I guess you can't help it, huh? You all grew up at me for your thoughts to doubt your neighbor. Well, you'll plenty of time to find out whether or not what I say is true. And when it comes and when that time comes, you'll see with your own eyeballs that I speak the undeniable truth. Most unfortunate. I think to Alicia forever would be quite as dark. What's this? Come on! Signing up your own free will to attend Hope Peak Academy, didn't you? And now, before the infant ceremony is even finished, you've already decided you want to leave! Hey, um... Oh, but... You know... I guess I did forget to mention one thing. There is... One way for you to leave the school. <laughs> really? Actually... As Headmaster, I crafted a special clause for those of you who would like to leave. I call it... The graduation clause! Now then! Now let me tell you about this fucking little rule. As I mentioned, in order to maintain an environment of harmony here, we rely on a communal lifestyle. If someone were to disrupt that harmony, then you may alone will be allowed to leave the school. That, my students, is the graduation clause. What? What do you mean about disrupt the harmony? You know, if one person were to murder another... Murder? Oh, yes, indeed! Stabbing, struggling, bludgeoning, corrupting, hacking, drowning, igniting, how... How you do it doesn't matter! You must kill someone if you want to leave! It's as simple as that! <laughs> the rest is up to you! Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible! As soon as I heard those words, my blood went cold. <laughs> I bet that got your brain to just ruin! Beat the heck out of a human catching a stamina! Like I said before, you guys are the hope of the world! But you know! Taking that hope and seeing it get murdered creates a darkened shadow of despair! Extreme! Boy, I'm not so darn exciting! What the hell? 
What the hell are you talking about? Kill each other is... It's... Kill each other is a kill each other! I'm sure there's a dictionary here somewhere if you need it! <laughs> what are you saying? We know what it means, but that's not the problem. Why do you want to have to kill each other? Why do we have to kill each other? Yes, yes. Stop blabbering on about all this nonsense. Just let us go home already. Blabbering. Blabbering? 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 What do you mean, blabbering? Stop blabbering on about blabbering on! Yeah! What did I say? That's strange. You guys just don't get it, do you? Let us go! Let us go! You keep on saying the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over again! Listen, I'm not gonna run to school, your home, your life, your world! Got it? No. Yippee! I only count as much as you wanna kill! So go ahead! Go on a kill, kill, kill and free! This is gonna be kill. This is gonna kill people here. <laughs> yeah. Ha, oh, come on. How long are you gonna keep this off? Hmm? Huh? You know? Okay. You scared the hell out of me. So, like, uh, you can go ahead and heal the frick now, dude. Huh? Oh, heal the frick! I'm right, right? Yeah, because, I mean, you know, you still have some kind of kennel, right? So, uh, I... Dude, shit. Dude, shut the hell up. Get out of my way. Seven hero aside, Mondo placed himself in front of Monokuma, his voice rumbling like thunder. Oh, You're boy. fucking dead! Listen up, asshole! This shit's gone way too far! What kind of hell? What the hell kind of joke is this? What's the matter? Choke! Oh. What? You mean like your hair? <laughs> you son of a bitch! Mondo <laughs> roared out, and then there was a sudden boom. It was the sound of the floorboards as he kicked and launched himself in the air. He kicked off and launched himself in the air. <laughs> your hair looks like corn! He flew at Monokuma fast and straight as a bullet. He locked onto his target. Oh no! Gotcha, you little piece of shit! I don't know if you're a toy or a stuffed animal or whatever the hell. Either way, I'm gonna rip you to fucking shreds! What? The violence against the headmaster is in violation of school regulations! <laughs> Shut the fuck up! Let me out of here, I swear to Christ! Hey, damn it! Boop. What? No smart ass comeback this time? Boop. Piece of shit! Stop that goddamn beeping and say something! Watch out! Watch out! Get rid of it! Huh? Huh? Hold it up and throw it! I don't know if her ferocity stunned him into silence or what, but without a word, he did what he was told. He threw Monokuma. <laughs> And as soon as he did... The, the hell? What the? That sure as shit wasn't a joke. It blew the hell up. There was a painful ringing in my ears and I could smell gunpowder. Cause you know what gunpowder smells like. Explosions might happen all the time in movies or whatever, but when it's in real life, I've never seen anything like it. What? Wait, you know, you know the teddy bear's been destroyed, right? Hey! I told you I'm not a teddy bear! I'm Monokuma! <laughs> what? There's another one! D damn you! Son of a bitch! You seriously tried to kill me just now! Of course! Oh yes! I was seriously about trying! I was serious about trying to kill you! You did violate one of the school's regulations after all! You off with a warning this time, but you better be careful from now on. Any naughty boy or girl who violates my rules won't get off with a just a little sweat on the butt. This is bad. Hey, so does this mean like a bunch more of you is around somewhere? Yep. Monokumas have been placed all throughout the school, yes. Plus, don't forget the surveillance cameras installed everywhere. And if you're caught trying to break any rules, well, you all just saw what happened, you right? <laughs> <laughs> don't mind that! And I won't be so forgiving with my punishment next time, so don't let it happen again. 
That's not even a punishment, that's just... Oh. Well? Now then, lastly, to commemorate your joyous entry to our school, I have a little something for you. Ta-da! This is our official student handbook. Pretty cool, huh? As you can see, it's fully digital, so naturally we call it... The E-Handbook! is absolutely vital to a healthy school life, so don't lose it! When you start it up, it will display your name! Always make sure you have the right one! <laughs> now, this is not your everyday notebook that has so many more uses than that! What? Mm. Also, it's completely waterproof! Splash it! Wash it! Drown it! It'll keep on ticking! Thanks to its space age design, it can withstand the impact force of the ten tons! Very resistant. Extends all of our school regulations, so make sure you can review them thoroughly. You guys. You'll hear me say this a lot, but any violation of school regulations will not be tolerated. Sing! Rules restrict, yes, but they also protect. Society, for example, would be under chaos without laws. Yes, indeed. Oh, look! Same thing applies here! Why is it? Oh, which is why it's supposed to have strict punishments in place for violators! Okay, well, that brings our instant ceremony to a close! Bye bye Please enjoy your abundantly dreary school life! And see ya! Huh, oh, his voice is kind of great. And with that, he was gone. Leaving us all in this state of shock. So guys, how would you define what we just experienced? What the crap? How? What? I don't understand any of this. Do we have to live here forever? Or kill? <laughs> what just happened? Calm down. Everyone, we need to calm. We need to just calm down. First, let's take a second to summarize everything we just heard. Based on what Monokun has said, we essentially have two choices. Choice number one is we each stay here and live in a communal life together until the day we die. And the other choice is... Indeed! If we want to put out this here alive, we have to kill someone. But... That's me! Killing someone <laughs> We are a We were abducted out of nowhere. Shot and enticed from my school. And now we're supposed to start killing each other? This is... This is just... This is just... What is this? Ridiculous! A lie is what it is! All this ridiculous things we've heard, it all has to be fake! <laughs> right now, it doesn't really matter if it's real or fake. What matters is... So, in other words... Is there anyone here who seriously considers it? To that, nobody had a response. Keeping quiet myself, I looked around oh. at the others. They all stared at one another, trying to gauge each other's thoughts. That's when it said. Meanwhile, Soccer is over there, like, the way it was driving. Bitching calls. I realized that you. Credits. Well, guys, thank you for watching. Surviving students, 15. Oh, awkward. <laughs> no. To be continued. Huh. What? <clears throat> but what is this? It's just a little thing.
But yeah, how do you like him so far? Interesting. Mama Kuna! Oh. I totally kill off fanfic and... Mama Alright. Uh... We'll wait for this and then we'll end that episode here. It's just, I loved this game when I played it in New York, because I, I just, you'll find that once you actually start getting into it, and you start unraveling some of the mysteries, you get kind of wrapped up in it. have to do Mickey Mouse for oh. Yeah, there are gifts that you can get. And you can give gifts to when you hang out with other with some of your classmates, each of them like certain things. And based on what gift you give them, the more you'll bond with them. If you give them something they don't like, they'll be like eh. Bond. James Bond. And, but if you give something they love, they'll be like, Oh cool, we've we're closer now. Woo! Oh, yay! Trophy. All right. And that's where we're going to end this one. Make sure to hit that like button as well as leaving a comment down below to give us your feedback. And make sure to also slap that subscribe button and ding that little bell for notifications on our future videos. And as always, I'm Travis. And I'm Sean. And we will see you next time. See you later. <laughs>